This one goes viral because it looks wrong until you taste it. Steak fries coated in chili lime crunch, dipped into a nacho cheese frosting that holds peaks like a cupcake swirl. The science is water control and emulsified fat. Fries stay crisp when their surface is dry and rough. Cheese stays smooth when fat and water are held together. If either breaks, you get soggy fries and greasy sauce. So we engineer both. Start with the fries. Use thick cut potatoes. Rinse the cut fries in cold water to remove surface starch, then dry them completely. Dry is everything. Wet potatoes, steam, and steam makes soft fries. Par cook the fries first, then crisp them at higher heat. If you bake or air fry, toss with oil and cook until deeply golden. Deeply golden means the outside dehydrated and browned. Now the chili lime coating. Mix chili powder, lime zest, salt, and a pinch of sugar. Sugar is not for sweetness. It helps browning and makes the spice taste rounder. Dust the hot fries the moment they come out so the seasoning sticks to the oil film. Now the nacho cheese frosting. Warm milk or cream gently, then whisk in a spoon of cream cheese first. Cream cheese stabilizes the sauce so it doesn't split. Add shredded cheddar slowly and stir until smooth. Keep heat low. High heat breaks cheese. When it turns glossy, add a small pinch of salt and a squeeze of lime. Lime cuts the richness and ties back to the fries. To make it frosting thick, whisk in a tiny slurry of cornstarch and water and simmer briefly until it thickens. Then cool for a minute so it becomes pipeable. Put it in a piping bag or a plastic bag with the corner cut and swirl it into a bowl so it looks like a dessert frosting. Serve the fries with the cheese frosting front and center. The money shot is the dip. Drag a fry through the thick swirl so it coats like icing. Then bite so you get crunch, heat, citrus, and molten cheese at once.